Comptroller Franchot, you recently released a statement on the Amended Relief Act of 2021, and you said more needs to be done to help struggling Marylanders. Can you explain what you mean by that? We've identified 426,000 low-wage earning uh, Maryland families that pay us taxes. They're all in our tax rolls. You know, they generally work in the hospitality sector and other entities where they've been laid off, and uh, the pandemic has gone on now for 10 or 11 months. They have no money for food. They have no money for medicine. They have no money for their rent. They are up the creek without a paddle. We know that they're suffering greatly. It's about a, a third of uh, the state right now is in a situation where they don't have financial security. Two thirds of us, Jordan, are just fine. We're a little stir crazy, but we are getting paid. We have homes to live in that are somewhat protected from COVID. and. Uh, we're ha we have money in the bank. In fact, we have quite a bit because we can't spend it on anything. But a third of our taxpayers, uh, these low wage earners are in a desperate condition. So my complaint, such as it is with the governor's relief plan is the following, they need help now. They need immediate cash stimulus put into their pockets. We can do it. He's proposed a plan where a small amount, $300 here, $500 maximum goes into their accounts. I'm suggesting they should all get a $2,000 survival check and it should happen now immediately. And my agency is willing to, if authorized, get the uh, money into people's pockets. We could have done it a month ago because we're in a real state of emergency. The money is there.